Okay, second video. I uh, want to talk about how to place elements, model elements, uh, into your project. So just open up a new uh, a new project file from the architectural template. And um, when, okay, so if you're doing linear things, walls, uh, piping, ductwork, things like that, beams. Those things are done by sketching the length of it. Okay, and for example, if I just go wall, and just go to the basic wall, generic, and we're gonna cover how to place walls in another video. But you click the start point and then the end point, and the command is still active. Okay, so you're placing something that has length to it. All right, if you're placing uh, an, an instance, okay, so we'll, we'll say doors, we're going to place a door. And as with all of, all of these uh, components that you're placing, if there's options, they'll be right here in the pull down. And you can change what size that you're going to use. And you notice the cursor is got the, you know, no symbol until you get into a wall okay that's because a door is a wall hosted family it has to it it, it can only go in a wall can't go anywhere else uh, the same with a window and there's different types of windows that are loaded we'll go with that one okay all right uh so we place those I, let me uh, let me go to the north elevation since I put them on the north wall. Okay, and there they are, you know, in elevation. If you want to look at them on 3D view, there they are in 3D. Cool, huh? Spiffy. All right, so now then, what about other things? So we, if we looked at, okay, we click our properties here we can see okay that's just windows because i selected a window if i go doors it only lists the doors that are there if i go component and click on component here this shows me everything that's loaded in the in the project that's not a a wall hosted item okay so, you know, there's desk, I don't know why, but parking spaces and trees are loaded by default in this template, <laughs> but they are. Okay, so let's say I, I want, well, I just placed a desk. I didn't want a desk. All right, so what I want is not there. So there's a couple of ways to do it. I can go to my insert tab and then go load family. And um, let's go furniture. And we've kind of done some of this before. Let's put some, let's put a bed in here. Okay. Okay, it loaded it into the project, but it didn't place it because I went straight from here. So, and one of the things I meant to show you is um, if while you're here, you can select multiple things by holding down the, the so, so let's load a crib and I hold down the control button and I can pick a couple of different, oh, it, I double clicked and it copied them. Ooh, <clears throat> that was not good. Okay, <clears throat> so now I can come back to my architecture tab and go component <clears throat> and see it goes to the last, <clears throat> excuse me, the last thing there. Um, and so if I look at beds, there's four different sizes of beds here. <clears throat> and so I select the one I want and bring it in. I can place multiple ones, you know, okay. 
Um, let's pull in that baby crib. Now, when you go into place a component, if you press down, you press on the space bar, a lot of these will rotate 90 degrees for each instance. Of course, that does, it, it helps you a little bit. Um, but some things like cabinets, you, it's hard to tell which is the front and which is the back when you're looking at it in a plan view. Okay. Um, and of course, you know, we covered how to rotate things, you know, and how to move things, uh, you know, last week. Let's say, uh, it, and this is, it's kind of weird. I've had this happen before with, with some items when I would go to component and try to place it from the properties palette. It wouldn't place, uh, and I don't know why, but what you can do is come over here to your project browser and expand families, and you come down to wherever you are, so we'll expand furniture, uh, and let's say I want to put in a, bunk, a bed bunk, so I can click and drag it into here, and then I can place it where I want it. Okay, and uh, let's look at a bed standard. So let's bring a double bed in. So I click and drag and drop it in here. And then, you know, I can place them. Um, or another way is to select one over here, right click it and go create instance and then I can bring it in. Okay, so, you know, th three different ways to place items in here. Now, when we talked about hosted elements, you know, doors or windows are obvious. Uh, these furniture elements that I brought in, they are hosted on a level. Okay, so if I come here, I cannot move it vertically. Okay, because it's hosted on a level right here. If I were to come here and change that to level two, now it's up on level two. Okay, so these families are created so that those items are hosted on a level. Some families are created where they are hosted on a floor or on a ceiling. Uh, light fixtures in particular are ceiling hosted, so they have to be placed on a ceiling. Um, did that, look at my notes, we did that. Okay, so we did, we did a little bit about loading the families there. I want to show you another, um, and you'll see this uh, sometimes with a, a lot of the structural beams, columns, uh, structural wood, framing materials in which we have what's known as a type catalog. Okay, so with this, this bed, we have multiple sizes within the family. And that's pretty common for things that, you, you know, here we got four different sizes. And, and that's certainly doable in the, you know, in the properties palette over here. But if you think about a, a steel beam there are lots and lots and lots of different sizes of steel beams. Same way with uh, dimensional lumber. You know, you got two by four, two by six, two by eight, two by 10, two by 12. And you can even get like, you know, two by 14s. And then you go to four by fours and four by sixes and four by eights like that. So we use what's known as a type catalog. And to get that, um, I'll, I'll demonstrate with, we'll go with a beam. So we'll go structure, we'll go beam. And you see there's one W shape loaded. Okay, I, that's not the size I want though. So I go load family. And I need to navigate up and go to structural framing, steel, 
and let's go down to wide flange beam okay here is a type catalog and this is hosted in a text file that is within the uh, um, the library so you've got the fam the, the RFA family file and then you have a text file a txt file that has all this information in it and so I don't know you know I don't know what's that. Let's say I need a I need a W36 by 210, and I know in my project because I'm looking at the notes on the project that we've got, and I need a W36 by 160. So I hold down the control key and <laughs> just click it once this time. Um, and a W30 by 124. We'll say I'm just picking these at random, and then I go okay. all right and so because i'm still in my place beam command i can come over here and choose which ones i want instead of loading that entire catalog of i don't know 200 beam sizes it just pulled in the three that i want so i get the size that i want and uh, let's see I'll just come down here and draw it. And it says it's not visible in the floor range because it went below level one. So let's go to um, our south elevation. There it is there. We'll cover how to place beams later. Um, That comes later in in the course um but there it is okay and so that was just to to demonstrate type catalogs and it's not just it steel beams wood framing um windows let's look at some different windows and one of the things if you're trying to load a family that's already loaded You'll get an error message asking if you want to overwrite that. Um, let's see. Basement doubles. Um, let's try. I don't know if this will have enough of them. Let's see. No. Got one is double hung. Fixed. There's a lot of windows are also sliding. Ah, here we go. So here's a case of a window one. And I'll just pick out two sizes here. Oh, okay, I did shift, so we'll load all of those. All right, and since I'm in a 3D view, I can place a window in a 3D view, but my heights and my direction back and front, because see, like that one placed it reverse, that should be the outside view. Okay, so best to place uh, windows on a level. And you ask, how did I know if it's the outside view? When you look at the trim on the window, that sill nosing should go to the outside. And if it's a double hung or a single hung, the top sash should be on the exterior side. The bottom sash should be on the interior side. Okay, so that covers a lot about placing, um, placing elements. And so next we'll get on to... Um, uh, building some walls, okay, getting some serious about this stuff.